<clears throat> different people have different preferences. I've never played either of those. Talk, talk about Star Trek. Well, what would you like to talk about regarding Star Trek? Kara, would you like to talk about Star Trek? I don't even know what a Scapalon 5 is. <laughs> is that like Babylon something? <laughs> that some kind of derisive comment about Babylon 5 I, or something? I don't know. I don't know. I, I am a Star Trek fan with the caveat that I'm not an obsessive. It's usually people, I, I have been in situations where people are like, do you like Star Trek? And I'm like, yeah, I like Star Trek. And they're like, remember in episode 54 with such and such, such and such? And it's like, no, not that familiar. It, it wasn't it wasn't the cause, but our first kiss was actually right after an episode of Star Trek: The Next Generation. Yeah, well, we also were watching some. Uh, I know. Uh, Midnight Cowboy, <laughs> which is a great movie. Yeah, we watched Midnight Cowboy, and then you didn't want to go home, and I didn't really want you to leave, and we started watching Star Trek. And then we watched Star Trek, and Star Trek was over. It's like, oh, a hell with it! I'm kissing her. Aww. I remember that. I'll never forget that. <laughs> Do I have enough money to buy a good stabby tool? Well, I can buy a hammer. I want to buy something. I'll buy a hammer. And I'll purchase it. And I'll equip it. And now I can sell my wooden stick. Have you ever worn a Star Trek uniform, Rich Evans? Why the fuck would I do that? No. I'm not, I'm not that kind of nerd for anything. Never drink the Kool-Aid. What, what was the thing? If I, they want to know if I had ever worn a Star Trek uniform. I would. I don't own one, but I would definitely wear one. I'm that kind of nerd. <laughs> <laughs> would you have the, sh the mini skirt version? No, I'm not a miniskirt kind of girl. I feel like <laughs> half naked. If I, I, I could, well, I could see wearing one, and then like maybe wearing some like black, um, like yoga pants kind of things underneath. Uh -huh. I, I could, I could rock that, with with like some Converse style shoes and matching color. But not the, yeah, you know. We got a Star Trek uh, uniform down there somewhere. We got a next gen one. <laughs> And, and, you know, my favorite color is red, and I know what happens to people in red uniforms, but I kind of want a red one. Well, not on, you're safe on TNG with red. That's true. They switch it up. You don't want to be wearing gold on TNG, unless you're Jordy. Or the blonde chick. She does okay until she dies. The security. Well, oh, oh, until she what? But she doesn't un until die. Until she what? Until she dies, but she doesn't die the moment she walks. She walks, you know. <laughs> she, she doesn't die in, the, in her first, you know, it's not a cameo. She, 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 I guess she wanted to leave the show for whatever reason, so they killed her yeah. character. It wasn't like they were just like, killed her the second she walked out the door, and they haven't done that to Worf either. Smartest career move anybody ever made. What, leaving Star Trek? <laughs> <laughs> she, she didn't really do it. She had like one horrible TV show after that, and that was about it. Basically, it was a mistake. She came back as a surprise evil. No, she did not come back. That was, that was her daughter. That was her rape baby. I'm sorry, my feet are in the way, aren't they? Well, my shoes need, are kind of in front of the screen. Up, so. Denise Crosby's next, pro next project after TNG was in Pet Cemetery. Was she in that? Was that her? Was that after TNG? Oh, wow. Pet Cemetery? Yeah. I, I guess that wasn't that many years ago. I saw that at Bremen way back in the day. I missed the Dollar Theater. No, it was that many years ago. It was all that many years ago. They both were, but... Yeah.
Rich, will the current reboots uh, nowadays be rebooted in 20 years? Or will they just be spun off like Creed or Star? I have, you know what? I have no idea. I keep waiting for these franchises to die, to finally die. They never do. Sometimes, sometimes things should be left well enough alone. Like Ghostbusters. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. You don't need to redo that. Robocop. Even, even Alien at this point. You think they'll ever remake E.T.? As a gritty, supernatural thriller? Here's, here's the thing with E.T. <laughs> it was There's... terrible in retrospect, but I loved it when I was five. Well, exactly. I, well, I don't know, I don't know, I haven't seen it in so long, I don't know that I'm willing to go as far as terrible, but... Not really as memorable as a lot of the other 80s movies, even though it was the highest grossing one for, like, a decade or more. Yeah, I remember it was a big deal when, it, after, like, seven years, it finally came out on video. And then I saw it. The first time I saw it in the theater, I was like five. And then I saw it when I was like 12 when it came out. And I'm like, why did I like this so much? Even at 12, I thought it was kind of disappointing. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's bad. I'm just going to say I have no, like, nostalgia for it. I have no love of it. You tell me you're rebooting E.T. My response would be, why? No. I loved it when I was five. I had an E.T. doll and I used to put put it on a diaper, in diapers, real diapers, and... And, and feed it bottles and put it in my cradles. I, I don't know why I did do that with a more human-looking doll, but... Floating floating out there somewhere on the internet, and uh, I think this might have been pre-YouTube, so you might actually have trouble finding it, but somebody got... <laughs> the Walking Dead climbs out. It's a Plants vs. Zombie zombie! Eh, ish. Ish. He needs gray hair. He needs gray somewhere, right? Do they have... I guess they don't all have hair. He looks like the one from the from the. He does. Title screen. He does. It was plant. It's a plant versus zombie zombie. But no, somebody somebody found the the, the kid from ET grown up. I mean, they did it. Oh, Henry Miller. Yeah, and they made it like a, a fake trailer for ET too. <laughs> and I don't know how easy it is to find because I think I want to say they made that pre YouTube. But it was funny. Ooh, I better run. Run, run, run! Well, how do you know? Maybe he's a pushover. He just hit me for like... Uh-oh. Do you have uh, health items? I'm already... Oh, dear. Items. What do you have in items? Herb. There you go. There you go. You have a fighting chance, Ren. Fighting chance. Die, bloodsucker. One more. Do you have more items for health? No. Or I can run. Or I can defend, and I'm not sure what that does. Uh, stall, I don't know. Basically, defend is useless in every JRPG. It's, uh, it's there to make you feel like there are more options to do things, but it's really just always useless. Run away. Did it work last time? No. Try again. Oh, you, you, you got away with it. You got away with it. Run to the end. Oh, shit, go to the, shit, go shit, to shit. the end. Go to the I'm end. Running. I was having, I'm having trouble with the directional pad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, good, rock monsters. <laughs> Hello, rock monster. Pet, pet. I guess you gotta grind to get through that section. You gotta do more grinding. I had pet rocks. I never had, like, the name brand pet rock, but I used to take rocks and, and put them in Tupperware containers and make them little beds with, with little folded up paper towels and, and blankets out of little folded up paper towels. It was, I guess, rather maternal for a little tomboy. Where's my... Eh. Oh, I'm sorry, my feet are in the way again. You need to put your feet up, don't worry about it. Oh. Eh. My knees will lift. Uh, let's see here. Wait, where's the end? The end's over this way. Here. The end's the thing with disease. No. Ooh. 
Boom. Reconfigure. Don't be careful you don't knock that screen over. New monitor? You had that little baby one before. Which was kind of... Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Oh, your tootsies aren't in front of the chat. If there's anything else you want to play, Rich, let me know. So what's the story of this game, they're asking? I don't know. I haven't played it that much. <laughs> what's happened so far? What's your quest? You're uh, trying to get the son of the queen who got abducted by some bad guy and you're 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 a you you're you have been in some kind of quest before allegedly even though they don't go into it and and it made a dragon burn your hair off they made a, a dragon burn your hair off and now you're bald and middle-aged and chubby and out of shape and you're trying to uh save the known world boy it's a shame we don't have the cam on today why Describe the character again. Chubby, out of shape, middle-aged, balding, bearded, red-bearded. You've got more hair than he does, for sure. <laughs> You've got more I can own up to it. I can own up to it. You've got more forehead to kiss. Yeah, I look terrible. And you've lost some weight. I look terrible and I can't shave my head. I'm, like, screwed. You never tried shaving your head. It might look I'm okay. round. My head is round. My face is round. Whatever makes you happier. Having hair would make me happier. Well, that's not an option. <laughs> if you want to do some kind of bad William Shatner toupee. What if I did? It was just on. Yeah, it's a toupee. There's nothing else I can do. If it makes this you. Is the, this is the best I can do. If it made you happier and less self-conscious, then okay. If you'd stop being self-conscious in a clown, clown wig, I'd be alright with that. Mountains. Mountains full of bad stuff. How much money do I have? Where's my gold? Ro Rogaine. You people have to donate a lot more. <laughs> We're going to have to kick the subscription fees up because Rich needs Rogaine. Gonna... Maybe you can do a Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> Hair for Rich. Hey, they've got like Kickstarters for like, you know, like yuppies who have gone into credit card debt buying too many purses or something. Uh, you know, I've seen them, you know, so why not? No, I'm a, I'm a skeptic. Does Rogaine work, or is that just like some kind of scam? And how good is it at regrowing hair? I have no, I have no idea. Got? I have no idea. But is it, is it one of those things that's just like a, a scam? And if I kiss his head, will I turn into a man? It's like one of those things that messes with your hormones? Oh, I don't know. Well, no, because you wouldn't want... You wouldn't want male hormones in that, because that's what makes you lose the hair. It would probably make me sprout breasts. <laughs> right? Estrogen is what, what keeps the hair. No, I think just testosterone is what loses it. I don't think estrogen... Well, so, so, so kissing my head with Rogaine well. certainly would, would not make you more masculine. It would, it would not at all. Well, I think, I think they have that problem with, like, the... The... the the testosterone cream that people like I guess they're supposed to like rub it on their sack or whatever and uh if they if they have low testosterone or they they think that they do or their doctor thinks they do or whatever and, and then I guess if women touch it it can masculinize them I'm sure it doesn't instantly you know turn you into a nine foot tall linebacker but sprout breast on your breast thank thank you wishcraft for you too that was very it made me feel very good about myself. So, so does that mean that they would get bigger, or does that mean that he would have like five little sub breasts on each one, or something? What is this a Cronenberg movie? A who? A, a, a fl 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 fly. Oh. Body, body horror. You turn into a monster. Okay. Well, flies don't have breasts. Cronenberg. But you know, I was reading about um, you know, about crop milk. What's crop like, milk? Birds are really strange. 
Like mm -hmm. I was reading about the respiratory system and it's like they take in air when they're exhaling too. It's like they've got like this, so that are in, out, in, out. They've got like a one-way system going on. And then birds like humans where women are XX, you know, two of the same thing with one inactivated in each cell. Men have X and Y. Well, birds, it's the opposite. Mm -hmm. The uh, heterozygous one <coughs> is the female. But some species apparently uh, produce something called crop milk, which is, is, is a little bit like milk and it, it's, you know, it, it's formed in their stomach or their throat or whatever and they regurgitate this for their babies. Oh. So, I mean, it's, oh. birds are just strange things and some of them are so smart. Are we ever gonna try an FTL no pause run? Uh, Jack wants to try one at some point. Apparently about 40% of men who use Rogaine experience hair regrowth after three to six months. Yeah, but what are we talking about here? Like, a few hairs? I want to know the sham level of Rogaine. I want to know if James Randi looked into it, what would he say about the hair club for men? James Randi apparently hasn't looked into it, because that guy is... <laughs> <laughs> he, he's, he's bald and he seems to be okay with it, and he's decidedly bald. And it suits him. Great James Randi... James Randy is like the little grandfather that I wish I had. He's adorable. <laughs> my both of my grandfathers died before I was born, and I I wish I could just adopt James Randy to be my granddad. He's so cute. He's short, but hey, so am I. <laughs> oh dear. Patrick Stewart doesn't give a shit. And the look works for Patrick Stewart. It really does. Patrick Stewart would be weird with hair. Yeah. I've seen him with hair. It is weird. Can I get to this with just avoiding that dude? Uh oh. Run? Yeah, worked last time. Oh, you know what? I need to buy some herbs. Why? Why haven't you? Cause I forgot about it. Let's go buy some herbs. We don't have buy herbs. Somewhere. Probably on top. Oh, for sure. But I'm just trying to know what store. This game actually has less walk two inches and hit an enemy than the original uh, Dragon Warrior games did. I was watching pre-rec when, when I was notified that this was live. Now I'm watching this. What a night! <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're live. Yeah, Jack's been on vacation. And I, I did like one solo stream, but it's been a while. I don't want to go too long before doing another stream. Jack's still gone. So I, I dragged Karen here, like we're streaming. You have no say in the matter. Well, I hope he's having fun wherever he is. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure he went to like Hawaii, I think, or somewhere? Somewhere nice, wherever it was. Somewhere where it's warmer. Somewhere where it's warm. Good for him. I'm sorry I miss him. I like it. His family's having some big get-together hoodoo, something or other. I don't know. Oh, good. Like his parents' anniversary or something like that? I don't know. I'm sure it's for Christmas. Oh, yeah. You know, smart people who would go to somewhere nice for Christmas rather yeah. than stick around in the frozen Mele hell that is Milwaukee. I think that I said it right in Hawaii. I hope I didn't say, like, you know, go kill your dog or something. Jack is another bald person. Jack is the other reason I can't shave my hair. <laughs> We're on camera together all the time now. I think you can we, tell the difference between... Jack's it's, with glasses. It's, it's weird if there are two completely shaved bald men on camera. It's weird. You know what it looks like? It looks like a cult. It, it would look like we're in some kind of cult. Join us. Join us now. And people would just, like, see that, and they would just be creeped out, and they wouldn't want to watch the video. So I am... I, I can't shave my hair. Just saw the Space Cop trailer and remembered it's... Sunday night. Any estimates on the release date? 
uh, when we get the copies will probably be the <laughs> release date. It's, it's been gone for weeks now, uh, waiting to get them pressed and sent to us. I don't know what their status is right this second, but I'm sure that I'm sure that probably the very literal minute we get them, I'm gonna get a call or a text. It's been New Year's and and Christmas. I mean, it is the time of year when, if things are going to be late, this is the time they're going to be late. Where are the, where's it being done? Stateside somewhere? I, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I forget who's doing it. I'd have to ask Mike and, uh, Mike and or Jay. Okay, but it's not like, like when I order stuff from Hong Kong and it's taking the slow boat literally from No, China. I don't think it's overseas. Did you ever get that charger that I sent you for your tablet? I think so. Yeah. Did you try it? Didn't work. Didn't work? No. Okay. So it wasn't that. Yep. The charger was only two bucks, so it didn't cost much to find. Yeah. Why don't you give it to your dad and let him play with it? He's looking for, he was messing, wanted to mess around and root something. I might. He might be able to fix whatever issue it's got. Or I'll just hit it with a hammer. Just fuck it. If I can't have it, nobody can. <laughs> <laughs> it's a decent little device. <sighs> Have some herbs. Rich, don't shave your head. I don't really plan to. I don't think I'm, I'm really in a rock and a hard place. I don't think I would look good shaved, and I don't think my hair looks good anymore. And I don't know what to do. It's terrifying. I think you look fine. I do not look fine. I just don't have enough in front anymore. You look fine. Nah. Mr. Lizard. He's not nice. Of course he doesn't say anything funny. Packers lost. I hope you're happy, Rich. I'm smiling on the inside. Truth is, I don't really care enough to smile on the outside. Smiling is overrated. I mean, I don't, I don't particularly care about football, but it's annoying to have all of the Packers fans around here rub it in my face whenever, like, they win and the Bears lose. And I don't really care, but yeah. it's, it's very annoying. It's not so much that he's a giant Bears fan. He never has been. It's just that he's sick of hearing about, oh, the Bears suck, oh, the Bears suck, because this is Milwaukee and they're Packers doing better. Packers Bulls suck. Yeah. Like, you suck. Like, I'm like I'm the Bears. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Rich, Rich and I have never... Well, I mean, I can't speak for Rich exactly, but I don't think Rich has ever had much of an opinion about the Packers one way or the other, except that we both agree that their color scheme is kind of ugly. But, you know, the Bears' navy blue and orange isn't great either. And I'm just not a fan of yellow in general, but anyway, I digress. They do have a horrible color scheme. Yeah. It's like easy cheese orange and mm -hmm. yellow and green. Or pine green. I guess is yellow supposed to represent cheese? Like in all seriousness. I'm gonna say yes because that's stupid. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong cave. I wanna go to the other cave. The cave with all the nasties. This isn't the one. What? I'm just sitting here thinking that I want to see the movie with the with the pets, even though they probably already spoiled anything I, that's good about it. I knew you would want to see that. I don't even remember what it's called. Um, pets when their masters go home or whatever. Uh, yeah, something. Home Alone Pets. Uh, I think that might be it. Pets, pets Home Alone or something. Pets on the Town. Pets on the Run. Pet. Uh, pet in the Town Red. <laughs> I don't think it was anything that clever. Oh, goodness. Can I take this shit? Animated children's product, pro a product 105A. That's kind of how I felt about uh, um, 
inside out. It just didn't feel like it was up to Pixar's best standards. <gasps> I killed him. You killed him? I killed him. Good. Did you use a lot of herbs? No. And spices? None. All right. I, I did not Colonel Sanders at one bit. See what I did oh, there? Oh, that's not, I like that. <laughs> now you're on the trolley. <laughs> Sloth named something. I totally want to play a sloth named Flash. I totally want to play a game that stars a sloth. You mean Zootopia? No, not the furry movie. Uh, mm. The one with regular pets, only they What's talk. But they're not anamorphic pets. Which still might interest furries. I don't really know. The Secret Life of Cats and Dogs. That sounds oh, right. yeah. That sounds right. It sounds cute. Is Mr. Lizard invisible? No, Mr. Lizard was just uh, taken out. Oh. Ooh. Oh boy. Uh oh. How much uh, health did you lose last time? I think I got like a lucky shot on him or something last time. A crit? But I have two. I'm a grit. Crit. Critical. Oh, yeah. Critical attack. It means you do a lot of damage. Herb time. What do you do? And 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 something uh, in meta weights. I have a I have a I have a um antidote. Okay. Furries seem like this is a. Uh, was it Tyrannosaurus Rex? Furries seem like Trump supporters in that they only exist on the internet. I refuse to believe they're real. Has like 17 hit points. Oh. Items. Items. Someone's saying, wait to use your items. Something big is coming up. Well, I was thinking of getting out of here and re rebuying more items. Okay. I think I think I've, I've I've told this story in the chat before, but I, I, I'm pretty sure Karen and I know a furry. Yeah. And his we'll, wife. We'll call him Bob and his wife. Yeah. We'll call her Bob too because Bob backwards is Bob. So Bob and Bob. Bob and Bob. Yeah. Okay. Did um, like you came up to me one day? You said I think I think Bob's a furry. Because what was his, his his profile on on something or other? What what was the deal? It, it, it would, well, I mean, the confirmation was at that store. Well, we will get to that. We'll I get to think, that. Yeah, I think he had some kind of a drawing of an animal, like himself as, his, as a, like an anthropomorphic kind of yeah. character, and referred to his his wife to be then as the feminine version of that species. And it's someone we knew in high school. We didn't we weren't we weren't that close. And then one day we we're just at a store and we happened to bump into him. And his was was she his fiance at the time? Or were um, they just I think they were married at that point. Yeah. But she was basically wearing what what was a dog collar. And I like just, a real dog uh, like collar. Like a real dog collar and like, I just with I just, actual dog tags from an actual dog. Like like she said to her parents, Oh, are you using this? No? Is you know, or is Fifi, Fifi using these tags? These are last year's, I'll take them. And I just I just I remember I just looked over at you and we exchanged the look like, uh huh. Uh huh. You know, though I mean people have all different <laughs> kinds of strokes. I mean, they're harmless. They had that one convention where people went trying to hurt them. I, I, I mean, they are harmless. It's I, not like they're 
you know, hurting people. I'm not- never said that. I never said that. Go be a furry if you want to be a furry. I don't give a shit. It's weird, but who am I to judge? Yeah. I just figure it's something that's not my flavor. Like, I per I totally... Like stand... kibbles and bits? Yeah, exactly. Like, for instance, I'm not gay. I understand that some people are gay, and I totally respect them being that way. It's just not my thing. And I figure, you know, furries like that. You know, some people are into that. I'm not one of them. I thought with Rich Evans' chest hair, he was already a furry. <laughs> well, I, I suppose I can't. Be. I can't help that. Well, you can wax it or something, but I like your chest hair. That would hurt. That would really hurt. Or you could like shave it off, but then you'd have like prickle. Yeah, he's calling me a prick. <laughs> I do not always call you a prick. It's not in my usual vocabulary. I, mean, I might not to say that my vocabulary is squeaky clean. It's just that prick isn't one I usually use. Rich, what animal would you like to be? You know, they asked me that in like grade school. Oh God. I think it might, it might even have been kindergarten. And you said a human, right? right? I said a human. Why the hell would I want to be an animal? Like, like, eat off the floor, live in the woods. Shit outside in the winter? How'd you like to be like to not be... not have my intelligence? How'd you like to be our family dog? No. He's got it pretty good. He's gonna live ten years and then he's gonna die. And you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be the one to do it. Well That's a horrible way to go. We'll be the ones to do it and he'll have people, no idea what's coming. People constantly telling you when you can do this or that. You wanna go outside? You gotta wait for someone to let you outside. It doesn't have to work. It sounds horrible on the whole. He gets petted all the time. He can sleep whenever and wherever he wants, pretty much. I mean But but when asked that question as a kid, my answer was just like like real quick, I didn't even think about it. Human. A human You're supposed to use your imagination. I don't wanna be an animal. If you were gonna be an animal, what animal would you a be? A human is the only answer I have to that question. Anything else is just mercy kill me. Well, how about a blue whale? No! They live the a fuck, long you time. just swim all day for a hundred years? They social more than a hundred, and they socialize and, and and you know. How fucking boring would it be to be a blue whale? Maybe they maybe they, have, they have maybe they have complex thoughts and complex interactions and stuff that you don't know anything about. Maybe they're great storytellers. <laughs> Obviously, they can't write them down. A human is not an animal. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. I knew that when I was in grade school. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in the sense that we're, you know, mammals. Primates. Which has six blue whales in his family history. I think we're only distantly related to 200. Yeah, I think I, think I read that somewhere. I mean, whales, very long-lived. I wonder how many years does it take them to reach... Uh, Maturity. All no right, idea. you sucker. You bastard. Blood sucker. I missed. Bah. Is this game really more fun than swimming for a hundred years? Hey, I'm not playing it. I'm the anti-grind man. I I asked I'm, you. I'm what the else? anti. Oh, it does, what, as long as you're enjoying yourself, it's yeah, I'm all right. I mean, I'm ready to play something else. Maybe I've been playing this for like an hour. I'm just here I to be. I played these games for huge chunks of time. I'm just here to be a comical, grumpy asshole. That's all and I'm here for. Succeeds so well. If you want to, and only if you want to, we could see if I have something else that you want to play. Hammer procured. I got the can hammer. You equip it. Is that a weapon? I can you I use it? I already have a hammer equipped. Oh. You could have gotten one for free. Now you know that. It's okay. I can sell it. I mean, granted, I won't get as much for selling something as I would. It's over here. Stuff!
Mr. Lizard. Play Doom 3 often? Why not Quake 4? Uh, just because I haven't yet? I like Quake 4. Uh, is that one, um. Only. Ooh, bloody skeleton. Uh oh. He looks sounds nasty. cool. He sounds badass. He yanks an arm off and beats me with it! <laughs> this <laughs> That's is, awesome! This is why I love you. <laughs> what? I'm just trying to figure out how to get back out of here. I think it's this one. Looks like 10 people are watching the AGDQ speedrun right now. What, are they having a bad year? What's an AGDQ? Awesome games done quick. The marathon I was talking about earlier. Which is why I kind of figured we'd only have 10 people in here tonight. Didn't know. Didn't know for sure what was going to happen. So speed thingies are a big thing, huh? Uh, this particular one, this particular thing's pretty popular. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm out of the loop. Sometimes, it, it depends upon the game, sometimes they're really fun to watch. This is one guy, I think his name's Trihex. I saw him like... Trihex or Trihex? Trihex, I think. He does a speed run of Yoshi's Island, and it's really entertaining because you have to be really good at the game to play it fast. He's... He's oh, doing, I like that game. It's he, cute. He's doing all of these crazy shots with eggs and hitting things that are uh -huh. off screen. And he's just really good at the game. And then you see other speedruns where they just spend like an hour doing these fucking ridiculous glitches so they can skip over 90% of the game. And I, I, I can't stand that. That's boring to watch. All right, it's I, like, oh, well, well, you're not really playing the game. Let but me save okay. my progress and we'll do something I else. guess technically you beat it. So you wouldn't want to watch somebody do a speed run through Super Mario Brothers where they use warp. More, well, at least a warp is built into the game. This would be like where somebody figured out where if you jump into this one brick at this precise angle, it takes you right past Bowser in the last stage of the game. Oh, that's kind of dumb. Yeah, that, like that kind of shit. Like, we found a way to go out of bounds in the level, and then you could just walk around everything! Yeah, there's some stuff in Mario where you can do that, but they're all glitches where, like, you, nothing happens. You just run around endlessly to the time. Well, some people, oh, you should... Which Mario are you talking about? One. Okay, you're talking about the 2D one? Three has a lot of fun. There's some, there's some shit in Mario 64 where it's like, you're not even playing the game. I, you know what? Not, I, you know, not like at all. I can't like, handle the really. graphics on 64. It's, they're just so primitive. Ugly. Well, the 64, like, the chat knows more how I feel about this. It's always been a blurry, ugly piece of shit. They did, they did um, update the graphics somewhat for the DS version. Yeah, the DS versions of all the 64 games look better, which is sad. And I've seen um, people, I've seen emu emulators, and uh, I messed with them a little bit a few years back, where, where people had skinned it, and they were, like, doing bitmaps and stuff to make it look pretty, which was kind of an interesting concept, but... I never really mess with it. Mm -hmm. Too much. Because I was never that much in the 64. The best are the Mario World programming runs, where through movement they program it in a buffer overrun in memory so that it skips to the end credits. Yep. <clears throat> well, that, yeah, I guess you'll beat it quick that way, but there's not. It's not really beating much the game. Skill. But they can, they can do some interesting stuff. I will say this they can do some interesting stuff with that, because they can basically reprogram Super Mario World. I saw somebody once, they can't do it by hand, they have to use like a, a computer to do the actual inputs, but somebody just using like the controller, the control inputs, reprogram Super Mario World to be Super Mario Brothers, the original, and then they played through that. Just using the controller? Just using the controller, yes. Now, when I, when I used to play Super Mario Brothers 2, and, and the other ones, I, I, you know, on the original NES system. Sometimes I'd get dust in the screen and there'd be weird glitches. And I remember there was one one time, there was, it was something got in the screen and until I reset it and whatnot, like all of the backgrounds were cherries and different things, like all the different mm -hmm. sprites were switched around. I'd love to see somebody mess with it, you know, to program it to do that. Mm -hmm. 
Because it looked really neat. There were, like, cherries everywhere. Yes, I know they do non-glitch runs as well, and those are the ones I like to watch. So Where it's actual skill. Somebody <laughs> yeah. plays it very, very, very fast who probably has no life to get that good at the game. Oh. I don't mean to be mean, but I, you think this is a grind? Playing a game over and over again well, would be fast. No, it's got to be a grind. See, a speedrunner would find a way to do this game in like 25 minutes, though. They would find a way to do it. Okay. I'm just screwing around. They'd be, they'd be, they'd have beaten the game by now. They'd be on to game number two. Oh, probably. I mean, I could even play, probably play this faster. I'm just kind of zoning out and talking to you and playing this. But this is why I'm suggesting. Why don't you come up with something else to do? I'm good. I mean, I've been playing this for like an hour. Are you done with hour. this? Sure. Yeah, I've been playing it for like an hour. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it off. I can't play it forever. All right, let me save one more time. Sure. <laughs> What's worse are hundreds of people watching others playing a boring game. Oh, wait. Look, you're here for the talking. Yeah. And this is a game where I can talk without having too much of my attention most of the time. And that's, that's the one thing that's hit or miss with uh, awesome games done quick is sometimes just the commentary is either terrible or non-existent. I can't imagine they have much time. Uh, yeah. They're too busy playing the game. Whereas this, I'm spending, I'm just kind of screwing around. The smarter people have a friend on the couch who's doing commentary for them, though. Yeah. And we've talked about Star Trek and crop milk and, and Pixar furries. movies and furries. <laughs> and... <laughs> I wonder if any of the bird furries like do crop milk. <laughs> Try to emulate it. Do you want me to throw up? Or do you want me you to know, throw I'm up? I'm reading right now an excellent book called The Green Ember, which is like you know, advent It's like a fantasy novel, but it's. It stars bunny rabbits. Uh-huh. And uh, I, I keep thinking, because I was reading about rabbits not long ago, about how they, well, they kind of, the way their intestines set up, they eat. It's not quite poop, but and pass it back through. And I, I, I find it, I, I just find it interesting that they completely skip over that. So I'm wondering, you know, furries, if they mention that. Or just, you know, just in general, some of the gross things that animals do. By human standards. You know, cows chewing cud, or... Do you suppose there's going to be a, a scene in the upcoming movie, Zootopia, where the rabbit character eats her own poop? Probably is that not. Gonna, is that going to happen? You see, that's is my Is it going to be a dinner scene, where she, <laughs> just, she just squats over the table and then has a meal? I would, I would love that. That would be hysterical. Like... Cow character like barfs up some cud to chew, or you know, something. Lots of animals pee all over everything that doesn't that isn't nailed down in most things that are. Oh wait, I don't wanna go there. What does wyvern powder do? I don't know. It makes you a wyvern or something. What's a wyvern? It's the thing. Wyvern. It's a kind of flying thing of a bobber. Welcome, my son. Yes, record my progress. And override it. Alright, Rich, go. What? Go create something else. Come up with something else for us to play for a while. Um. Quick save. You quit without save. I already saved. Okay. Well, no, it. Yeah. Oh, well, it's too late now. Oh, I hope so. All right. We'll see. Escape. Yeah, I want to quit. Damn it. Where's mouse? Where's my mouse? I need to be clicking on my Miz house. I have no idea where you put it, Rich. I'm sitting on a can of Red Bull and my tablet. Well, if you don't know something, maybe you should stop acting like you know everything. Why are you back? I told you to quit. Quit. Sleepy dragon. Die. Die, game. Die. Are we frozen? I don't know. I don't think I think we're frozen. We're frozen in dragon fantasy land.
Yeah, mostly I play these. You you just yeah. Mostly I play these games in relatively small doses. Are we still streaming? Um. Can anybody see me? Are we still there? It looks like we're still going. Yeah, okay. Still yeah. Thank you. You know what? Can you, while I'm getting a new game, can you read off I, everyone who subscribed? 102 viewers resubscribed while you were away. Cesarean fart. Thank you. Radio link down. Gobbledygooks. Say, say, say it with some gravitas. These are our subscribers, Karen. No, oh, thank you. Cesarean fart. Like, you know, get some, get some oomph in there. <laughs> Cesarean right? fart. Thank you. you. Genuinely. Radio link down. We appreciate it. Gobbledygooks. We do appreciate you guys. Genuinely. The real Quaid. Thank you. A Bill T. Billetly. Whatever your name is, and uh, with the underscores. Thank you. What the fuck? A Michael 87. Thank you for 16 months in a row. Wow. There's some big numbers here. My turds are green. Maybe you should stop eating so much what black licorice. Fuck? Eczema. Thank you. Frosty Snooze. Thank you very much. Dino Spumoni. Uh, what the fuck? Spumoni is ice cream, isn't it? Lone, Loner Arkan. Thank you. Knar, Kronark. Knar, Knark, whatever. Fuck? Thank you. <laughs> Knar, Knark. M Mine. Thank you. Lando Wastikin. Thank what you. The, the Real Vion. Many thanks. Dagoba Dave. Vielen Dank. Pizza Chain <laughs> 11. Merci beaucoup. Skeletal Snoogles. Thank you. Ernest Khan. Thank you. Star Arbles. Thank you. And Sausage Toes. You might want to get that checked out. Thank you. Thank you all very much, really. It is much appreciated. I'm looking for a thing. A thing. A thing. A quest. Be careful you don't run into any rock monsters or vampires, because they suck. Ba -dum -bum. Ba -dum -bum. I know you weren't ready for a stream tonight. I wonder if I should put up a... Um, I guess. I don't know. How do you feel about this? Bomb defusal manual. Okay, everybody can find out how dumb I really am, because I'm not really much of a good gamer. Uh, <laughs> if it is already apparent. Alright, you know what? Let me let me see. I'm, not, I'm I'm certainly not dressed glamorously or anything. I was not I, I was a bit surprised. Hold up. I'll be back. I did not know we were gonna be doing this stream. I mean I was certainly game for it, but uh Rich wants to put me on camera. I uh I'm wearing my usual stuff, which is nothing glamorous. The bomb game. The bomb game. Into the crucible, their relationship falls. We're both nude. <laughs> oh, now there's a scary thought. Nude and chubby. Both of us. Everyone in the chat is nude, too. Well, I, I feel more comfortable now. Aww. Will we kiss on camera? I think we could do that. Oh God! <laughs> is that, is that too sickening? Really? We we could make it. We could make it a G-rated kiss. You could kiss your pate. My what? My taint? Your pate! Oh lord, no. I thought you said taint! P A T E. That's certainly not G rated! No, it wouldn't be, not in the least. I'm the only girl in this chat that might. How possible? 
it's fun. You know, it's digital online things. Who really knows? I remember when I was in the AOL chat, I had it years ago. I always used a gender neutral kind of name. And lots of people assumed that I was male. Just for no particular reason. Did you prefer I it that way? I, I didn't really care, you know? I, I mean, I wasn't really interested. People would, back in the old days, people would be like, you know, everybody's like ASL, you know, ageless yeah. sex location. It's like, uh, what? I don't know, most of them were probably 15. These get moved back. But, yeah, I didn't care if people thought I, I mean, generally, if I got to know people and they referred to me as he, I'd be like, uh, no, I'm a she. But, yeah. Other than that, I really didn't care. I didn't, you know, figured whatever I had to say didn't really have much to do with it. Taste of what Jack would go through setting this thing up. You gonna be a while? Should I? If you want. Should I hit the restroom? If you have to, go. We can take a break. Hmm. I, shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't drink so much Red Bull and Here, let me, let me officially pause this. Oh, We're taking a break. We'll be back. We'll be back. Technical difficulties with the tweeter birds coming out of your forehead. I love that picture. We'll have to do that.
you're now audio is live. Audio is functional. Uh, actually, I probably did that prematurely because I'm going to run to the restroom. <laughs> you're on camera. What are they saying? I'm on camera. You're on People camera. People can see me cleaning crap off from under my nails. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what they're saying. Not small, just further away. Oh, I'm kind of shrimpy. Uh, Karen's yawning suggests this won't go far. Karen usually works really early. Karen's body is just on a different schedule. Hi, Dick Neutral. All right, uh, could you read that uh, donation from Cesarean Park? Please don't give this money to starving orphans. <laughs> Who do I? Who do I? Who? Uh, from from Cesarean Fart, a, a very generous donation. Please don't give this money to any starving orphans. Also, who do you think is the most boring, worthless main cast character in a Trek series that isn't Voyager or Enterprise? Well, I'm not sure what Rich's opinion is. Is mine? Let's see. Worf can be kind of annoying. Um. Gaima or Gaiman or whatever isn't the best. I, I don't know. I'm sure Rich can come up with a, a better one. And from HAP78, another generous donation. They want to wish, I'll make sure Rich hears this when he comes back. I just want to, she says, I just, or he says, he or she, I just want to wish Rich, Jack, and the whole RLM team a Merry Christmas. Jack, have a safe and wonderful vacation with the family. That will be passed along. Thank you, too, for your donation. It's very nice of you guys. Oh, Wesley, yeah. No, Nobody, well, yeah, Wesley. Wesley is not anyone's favorite. You know, I was watching, um... Worf, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was watching, uh... The Man in the High Castle, which is an Amazon original series based on a book by Philip K. Dick, where it's like kind of like a what if, what if the, the uh, Axis had won the Second World War. And one of the big Nazi guys on that show, his son, is Wesley. Completely. Will I shave my head and be the new Jack? Probably not. See, the problem, you know, I mean, while, while hair is... While hair can be a pain in the neck, the trouble with shaving your head if you're a woman is that people think that you're on chemo. And, you know, I feel bad for people who are. I mean, it's unfortunate, but, but yeah, I'd have everybody telling me that I'm, I'm brave for battling something and I, I'm not battling anything. People would assume that I was ill, and I'm not. Okay. Hit buttons. How did I end up with Mem Bison's hat? I don't know. Bought it on Amazon. It's got a little mouse on there, a little pin that somebody gave me because I love mice. <laughs> mice are cute. <laughs> kind of my All right. favorite animal. Well, besides dogs. So you might you might be curious as to why I'm sitting backwards. So you can't see the screen and I can? Okay, you're smart. I, I should never underestimate that. Yes. Um, it's like when I walked into my art class in high school and he had all the desks facing each other and I said, we're going to draw each other, aren't we? I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> suppose all the other dumb kids are like, what the fuck's going on? Nah. What do I, what um, do I somebody, said, somebody said that they wanted to wish you and Jack and the whole RLM team a Merry Christmas and Jack to have a wonderful vacation with the family. So I was wondering oh, if you could you. pass on those regards to Jack and we'll I, make sure you saw that. I will do that. From, uh, that was from HAP78 who made a donation generously. That, that may be from the last stream. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. All right. And so wait, there's more down there. Um, mouse down? I think everyone else is older. So okay. what, are the, what, is, what does the date say? Is there a uh, date? 1222. Yeah. I'll okay. And then this one is from the cesarean fart. It sounds like a horrible condition. Uh, 1-3-2006. Okay. So here's, here's what's going on. We're going to defuse a bomb together. You get to see the bomb. No, we're probably just going to blow up together. Well, <laughs> I'll ruin it. Well, I'm good at ruining stuff. You get to see the bomb. I get to see the manual. Okay. I don't get to see the bomb. You don't get to see the manual. And am I using this thing? You're using that thing. You might be able to use a mouse, but I figure that might be more comfortable right now. I don't know. I don't remember. Hit button. Hit up. We'll see, get the game to thing to start. Get the thing to start. I think I hit the right one in the first try. All right. Um, go to menu. Is there a tutorial so you can figure out how to move this thing around right? Go to the... 
click that. Is there... What's on options? You know what? Go to bombs. Bombs? Yeah. Get out of here. Hit the B button. Bombs. Then, yeah. Game yeah, overview and rolls. Just do that. Do what with it? We'll start it. Click on it. 1.1. 1. 1, game overview and rolls. 1. Identifier. Game overview and rolls. 2. Description. A brief overview of keep talking and nobody explodes <laughs> in the roles of each player. This was shown when the game was first launched. Attachments. Yep. Well, we want to do that um, again because so you, you didn't see it when the game first launched. Start. Vibration. This is a local multiplayer game for two or more players. You are the bomb diffuser. Your goal is to defuse a bomb with the help of your friends. Your friends are the Soon experts to be enemies. who got what? Soon to be enemies. Your friends are the experts who guide you by using the bomb defusal manual. The experts. The bomb defusal manual. The diffuser is not allowed to look at the manual. I, I didn't really focus my eyes. The experts are not allowed to look at the screen. Try fun ways to keep the diffuser isolated but with an earshot of the experts. The experts can find the bomb defusal manual at www.bombmanual.com. Yeah, get the controls where it shows you how to move the bomb around. Controls? There should be some. Oh, it didn't do. Oh, okay, never mind. Hit that again. Go to the second one, control tutorial. That's oh, the only one. Learn the controls of the game, an important step toward not exploding. This was shown when the game was first launched. Except, <laughs> I wasn't there. I know you weren't, so why we're doing it. Before you begin, let's quickly go over the controls of this game. Select the bomb on the table to pick it up. Next, cut the blue wire in the top middle module. Tune selection with this thing and select with A. First, select the module. Okay. And then select the wire you wish to cut. They said blue. A new bomb was just placed on the table. Pick up the new bomb. Deselect the current module, then deselect the old bomb to put it back. So deselect and then get rid of that bomb and then go over to this one. Select the button module and press the button. Boom. The bomb was not armed, so it was safe to interact with. Don't be careless when dealing with an armed bomb. One last thing to try out. Rotate to inspect any of the sides, top, or bottom. <laughs> I wish I could do that at work with product. That would be awesome. <laughs> if you ever need a reminder of these controls, a diagram can be found in the menu by pressing the escape key, which is... Which key? Oh, uh, probably just the back button. Maybe one back. of the shoulders? Probably one. Is that? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. We'll be fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. And I see a... Is this uh, <clears throat> one of those... Uh, what do they call those things? A slide projector? An old-fashioned slide projector? Is that what that is over there? Behind there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Vacation slides. All right. Let's do a bomb. Go to a bombs. Bombs. Yeah, we'll take you through the easy ones. First uh, bomb. The first bomb. Identifier. The first bomb. Description. Everyone has to start somewhere. Let's just hope it doesn't end here, too. Make sure your experts have the manual or, and are ready to help. Bomb configuration. Five minutes. Three modules. Three strikes. Best time. Two minutes and 58 seconds remaining. Diffused. Start. Okay. You have to describe things to me now. What the I'm, screen what am I is at? for your eyes only. You are not allowed to look at the bomb defusal manual. The white zone is for immediate unloading and pa loading of passengers only. There is no stopping in the red zone. I saw okay, you it look says over 23, here. 21. No, I didn't. I looked at I'm your face. I'm kidding. Um, the clock, it says 23, 21. There's, this thing has a countdown timer for five minutes. There's mm -hmm. a TRN button on the bottom. There's a red battery. Um, TRN button? Yeah. You mean, you mean like a button? Tan, maybe? Is it, there's a little indicator or something that well, says... We're, we're worried about like those those sectioned off areas. There should be like six on either side of the bomb. Okay. There's a, there's a timer thing that says four, 
four thirty four. That's counting down. That's and the it timer. And it looks like it has like a speaker next to it, and then there's a little window over it that doesn't say anything. That's there's fine. There's a section with wires. There's a black wire, a black wire, a blue wire, a space, wires. and then a white wire. Wires. On the subject of wires, a wire module can have three to six wires on it. Only one correct wire needs to be cut to disarm the module. Uh, okay. How many wires are there? There are four. Four wires. If there was, are, is there more than one red wire? There are no red wires. Okay. Is the last wire yellow? It is not. It's white. Is there only one blue wire? There is one blue wire. Just one? Yes. Cut the first wire. Okay. Okay, next. Um, what do we got? What do we got? We have two blank looking sections. No, don't worry about those. We only got to worry about three of them. Three of them. <laughs> The three of them will have something in them. Excuse me. Oh, wait. What do I do? <coughs> oh. I'm trying to get over to the section. How do I get over to the section? I can't look at the screen to help you. Oh, I'm, I'm in the wire section. I want to get over <coughs> to the wire section. I cut two wires. Oh, no. Don't do that. I didn't mean to. Back out. Back out. Okay, there's a detonate button. It's blue. It says detonate. Yes, it's in the upper right-hand corner. Okay. It's a blue button? It is. But it doesn't say abort. Uh, it says detonate. And it's blue. Is there more than one battery on the bomb? On the bottom of it? Anywhere on the, on the battery. On the bomb. Um, <coughs> It'll look one, like a regular, either two, double A or triple A there, or like batteries. There regular are batteries. two batteries on the bomb. Okay. Press it and immediately release the button. Like, blub. The, the, the blue big button? button? Yeah. Okay, wait. I'm trying to get back. Okay, out of there. Nope, not <coughs> out of there. Okay. It's good? I think. Okay. Next section. Um, there's a, a collection of symbols. One looks a bit like a mountain or a letter A with a line coming down. Okay. One looks like a tennis racket. One looks sort of like a check mark. And one looks sort of like the cursive, cursive letter H. All right. A like a mountain, tennis racket. And what's the other ones? Um, sort of like a, a check mark with, uh, with little tails on, on off of both edges. Okay. And and the other one looks sort of like a cursive letter H or something. Looks like an H right. with a little... Tennis. Hit the tennis racket. Okay, let me go back. Okay. Tennis racket. A with the T. The check mark. And then the H with the cursive. Okay. Are we done? I think so. All right. But, First one. But, 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 but I, I cut two wires. You get three strikes. Okay. On that one. So we're good. Give me five. Down low. Oh, I'm not supposed to look at you. How low can well, we? Don't make it a moving target. It's okay between bombs. <laughs> We're going to switch off at some point. You're going to use the manual. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, at least you'll be able to. I won't be like hitting the wrong button because I hit A and C or something. It's fine. How's the chat liking this? Um, are the symbols like Norse runes? Maybe. The webcam is frozen. We can't see the high five. Can you see me waving? Frozen screen. Okay, okay. They want to see the high fives. We will reenact the high fives. Son of a bitch. Yeah, we're not moving. We are frozen. I... I'm going to stop and restart the stream.